E-waste is an important issue not just in U.S. or North America, but globally. It's an important issue on a number of fronts. Most people are aware that, it, that virtually every major city in the U.S. that their landfills have been closed. They're at maximum capacity now. So where does excess landfill material go? It has to be shipped somewhere. So we're creating a problem somewhere else. That's general landfill space. But when we look at the, the electronic or e-waste space, the problem's a lot greater. In less scrupulous environments, e-waste is typically sold and bought by the pound, and it goes offshore. China has significant problems in, in a couple of different provinces and regions right now because their whole economy is based on e-waste. What happens with this e-waste is that there are certain chemicals, there are certain components that are of value, say gold in, in electronic circuitry, that they need to extract out of that, but they do that by burning off the rest of the material. So there are toxic fumes, there are toxic chemicals that are created when they try and extract the little bit of value out of this e-waste that there is. What happens to the rest of that material? It ends up being burned, it ends up being stockpiled in areas. If you think about uh, electronic waste, it's growing, not just as a problem, but it's growing in, ter in terms of total units. What do we buy anymore that doesn't have some electrical or electronic componentry to it? There's a growing amount of electronic waste that's being created, and we have to find environmentally responsible ways to be able to deconstruct that material, to be able to truly recycle it in ways that are not just preferable, but environmentally safe.